number one, Alkamashi. I'm Hapri Dun. And today we're going to be sharing our experiences, our time, our stories, our ideas, and the ins and outs of CSW 63. CSW is a principal global intergovernmental policy making body dedicated to gender equality and empowerment. It's basically just an annual gathering where civil society organisations and member states come together and discuss women's rights. And what was the theme for this year? The theme for this year was social protection, infrastructure and sustainability. drive social change can be so different but at the same time it's these instances that make me realise that we are working towards a common goal and a common vision and that is really powerful to acknowledge. We are together in this world and that's how it should be. We should work together on these issues and what's important to us. Right, feminism is definitely not a homogenous concept yeah, exactly. and it can come in so many different um, shapes, sizes and I think it's really important to sort of acknowledge that well there isn't only one sort exactly. of concept that feminism can entail but rather it really does branch out. Young people are such a reservoir of hope and passion and I think it's so important that CSW recognises them and involves them to be part of the decision making process. I think when you at society, young people are so isolated from decision making, but the reality is that power structures in history have proven to be so vulnerable to the moral fervor, to the determination, to the patience, the wit, and the courage of young people. So thank you CSW for recognizing this and involving us. most valuable things that I learned from being at CSW and this is not speaking just from being involved in the side of side events but just like the parallel events that I went to and just engaging with meaningful dialogue with the opposition and with people who shared very different opinions to mine. I think what was really important in being involved and talking in those spaces was that it's okay for other people to have different opinions and it's okay for me to have a different opinion to be able to share that and to have that connection because we were working towards one vision of a better society, one that reigns on dignity and human respect. I believe working together as well, like in a caucus, like with the Young Feminist Caucus for example, that was a key takeaway for me personally because I got to work with the different delegations all around the world and uh, being a part of the Australian delegation, incorporating what they want and their needs are and then being an international force, I guess, and I feel we have um, so many visions for the world and it's far time for the world to see. My hopes for the future of CSW as my third year uh, is for there to be more of an awareness of what CSW is on a global community sense in national sense. In that case, we have more of a chance to implement uh, the language. Sometimes I get told that real change is driven from, you know, the law and yeah. from policy makers and those who are actually involved in yeah. lawmaking. But it's actually, that's actually not true. They're the ones that ratify change mm -hmm. and change at the beginning comes from the moral fervor that yeah. young people have, that social movements have. Um, and it is, it does come from the dis like, disadvantaged yeah. groups. And I think it's really important to sort of acknowledge that and then foster a method in ways where CSW can become more accessible. Especially. The rich exchange of information, thoughts and ideas across local and international communities is so necessary. I'm so excited to be bringing back all the practical solutions and the ideas and the experiences that I've gained from CSW to be applying it to my community here in Liverpool.